Today we're going to be exploring which modern mammals could survive alongside the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, dinosaurs, including the formidable species like the Tyrannosaurus rex and Triceratops, met their end in a cataclysmic event. This extinction event was caused by an asteroid, and would go on to kill almost every single large land animal that was alive on the planet at the time, killing anything larger than the size of a rat. It was said that only an act of God could kill these creatures, and an act of God was what did it. Nonetheless, at the time of these creatures' extinctions, they were the pinnacle of evolution, honed over 165 million years to thrive in their environment. Their level of evolution was insane. Consider the astonishing bite force of the T-Rex. It had the strongest bite force of any land animal to ever live. Its bite force measured at a staggering 35,000 newtons, a stark contrast to us humans, who were only clocked in at a mere 300 newtons of bite force. Also, don't forget, these guys were huge. The T-Rex would tower over you at an astonishing 12 feet tall and 40 feet in length. These guys were basically a bus that was designed to kill you. For reference on just how big the T-Rex was, imagine our own largest carnivore we have alive today, the polar bear. Well, guess what? The T-Rex is 15 times the size of a polar bear. Now imagine that thing trying to eat you. You're done for. Oh yeah, and one more terrifying fact about the T-Rex on just how easily this thing could eat you. Its eyes were better than an eagle, so now you have a bus that can bite you in half and can see you from over two miles away. So remember, dinosaurs, they might be ancient creatures, but they were extremely evolved and adapted to live in their environment. And like I said before, they were the pinnacle of evolution at the time. And even despite how crazy these dinosaurs were at the time, mammals were still around, such as this guy. Most mammals of the time were burrowing animals so that they could avoid dinosaurs because they really had no chance in competition. Fast forward 65 million years to the present day, and us mammals were doing pretty good for ourselves, and we've claimed our place as the dominant species on Earth. Though even now, us mammals pale in comparison to our previous dinosaur overlords. And just the thought of having to live side by side with these creatures strikes fear into everyone's hearts. Considering us mammals, got an additional 65 million years to evolve. Could we even now compete against the dinosaurs? That is what we will be exploring today. What mammals could have survived alongside the dinosaurs? Our first contender for survival alongside the dinosaurs is none other than the elephant. Could the largest land animal have withstood the challenges of that ancient era? Let's examine the potential advantages and drawbacks for the elephant. Firstly, their colossal size would have served as a substantial deterrent to many of the smaller predators. Additionally, their relatively large brains allow them a higher level of intelligence compared to some of their reptilian contemporaries, facilitating more complex social dynamics within their herds. Which leads us to the elephant's largest advantage of all, their herd structure. If these guys are full-grown adults, they would likely be able to fight off many predators that came their way. However, there are significant downsides to being an elephant in the Cretaceous period. Competing against predators of similar or even larger size would have posed an extreme threat. Not only would they have faced intense competition for resources, but they also would have been susceptible to becoming prey for colossal sauropods like Tyrannosaurus. Comparing the size of their largest predator of the elephant today with that of the T-Rex reveals a staggering contrast as to what the elephants would have to handle. Let's look at the Triceratops for a second. These guys were basically the elephants of their time, and they had evolved specifically to fight off these giant predators. And just look how much armor these guys had. They literally had a shield on their head to protect themselves. So considering the elephant's relatively low level of natural armor, and its sole weapon, the tusks, it is unlikely that it could have survived alongside the formidable and diverse array of dinosaurs that once ruled the earth. So that's why I'm smacking these guys down to the F tier. F standing for food. Our next mammalian contender continues the trend of large creatures, the orca whale, regarded as the king of the sea today. These creatures hold an apex position within the marine realm, and can even kill the mighty great white shark. So the pros for the orca is their intelligence, a characteristic shared by other large predatory whales. Much like their terrestrial counterparts, the elephants, orcas exhibit complex social behaviors, often swimming in pods ranging from 2 to 15 whales. This would give them a huge leg up over their rivals in this ancient sea, as they won't be alone in any case. Interestingly, there is also no evidence to suggest the presence of large pod-based sea creatures during the Cretaceous period, 
While formidable marine predators such as the Mosasaurus or Plesiosaurus existed, the concept of pod-based social structure appears absent from the prehistoric seas, and would have made it challenging for these ancient creatures to pose a threat to the orca. Though in a 1v1, they would likely have trouble, if not lose. Consequently, the orca whale would not have held the same position atop the food chain as it does in the present day. However, in the Cretaceous Oceans, the presence of orcas and pods would have likely enabled them to thrive and adapt. Considering these points, the orca whale is going to be thrown in at A, because they would likely do well in these oceans as long as they are able to adapt to the warmer waters and different food sources. Our focus now shifts to the pig, an animal often associated with its role in the production of bacon, rather than being perceived as an apex creature. However, when these animals find themselves in the wild, their behavior can take an unexpected turn. Pigs showcase an exceptional ability to reproduce at a rapid rate. Coupled with a remarkable ability to survive in diverse environments and situations, in large part due to their omnivorous diet, which allows them to consume nearly everything they come across. These animals are clearly survivors, but would they be able to survive the Cretaceous? First, let's consider their inherent limitations. While they may exhibit ferocity towards smaller animals, facing larger predatory species would leave them with a minimal chance of survival. Essentially, their primary hope would lie in their prolific reproduction rate, yet this alone might not suffice amongst the dinosaurs. The prehistoric landscape would have been teeming with numerous predators. With basically danger behind every corner, it would render the survival prospects for pigs significantly challenging. And that's why I'm going to throw them at D. Because if they were able to reproduce, maybe these guys would have a chance of surviving. Or if you put them on an island, but in a wider Cretaceous, they would, as Will Ferrell puts it, You're outgunned and outmanned. Our next contender to be thrown into the prehistoric mix is the rat. Known for their adaptability and resilience, these creatures have survived despite humans trying to kill them at every corner. Notably, their remarkable reproductive abilities are a defining feature, with a single mother capable of producing up to 84 offspring annually, alongside the fact that male rats typically reach sexual maturity within 6 to 10 weeks after birth while females achieve maturity within 8 to 12 weeks, highlighting their astonishing reproductive efficiency. So basically, these guys can pop out babies just a few months after themselves being popped out. So the rat's reproduction rate, as alongside the pig, will be its greatest asset for survival. Except the rat has a few more benefits. Their small size and agility would make it near impossible for large theropod dinosaurs to eat them, and even the smaller dinosaurs would have trouble as well. The combination of their agility, small size, and rapid reproduction rates would serve as the rat's greatest assets against the challenges of the dinosaur-dominated Cretaceous period. The only downside I can see the rat potentially having is finding food. But, you know, rats could pretty much find food anywhere because these guys will eat pretty much anything. So despite this potential challenge, their ability to burrow and their agility would likely make them elusive prey for most predators, allowing their population to proliferate swiftly. In large part, the rat shares many similarities with the mammals of the Cretaceous period as well. They're just small burrowing animals who don't try to compete with the dinosaurs, but try to avoid them. This is why I'll be giving the rat an S on our tier list. I think they would do well in this time and would likely outcompete many of the mammals that lived at this period. Our final contender is the human. Humans, the unparalleled apex predator of Earth, possess the unique capacity not only to adapt to their surroundings, but also to mold and transform them. With their unparalleled intelligence and intricate social structures, humans have demonstrated remarkable prowess in overcoming formidable challenges. Throughout history, they have showcased their ability to hunt formidable creatures such as the woolly mammoth, utilizing their cognitive prowess rather than sheer physical strength. However, Unaided bear humans would likely succumb swiftly in a world teeming with dinosaurs. Given their limited natural defenses and comparatively feeble physical attributes, humans would have a hard time competing against the giants of the Cretaceous period. Modern humans' ascendancy on Earth was partially facilitated by the absence of large predatory adversaries. Even encounters with creatures like bears or tigers, which are smaller than dinosaurs, pose significant challenges without adequate preparation. Therefore, unprotected humans would face dire consequences in the presence of dinosaurs. Just imagine right now, you're walking down the street and a dinosaur runs up to you. There's pretty much nothing you could do. It's gonna eat you, and you're gonna let it because you can't fight it. It's a dinosaur, what are you gonna do? So unprotected humans would likely die out in a matter of days, though possibly maybe some hardcore survivalists could figure out some way to survive, but in the end, the humans would go extinct. And because of that, 
I'm going to be giving the humans an F. Although, if we were able to tweak these rules a little bit and send back some humans equipped with advanced technology of the 19th to 21st centuries, humans not only would have survived, but would have potentially established dominance over the planet, much as they have today. Armed with sophisticated weaponry, even the mightiest of dinosaurs and their thick hides would have struggled to withstand humans' ingenuity and firepower. In such a scenario, humans would undoubtedly be at the S tier. But you gotta remember, boys. Even in our world with such small predators, humans only really reached technological advancement about 300 years ago. Now imagine us trying to do that when there's buses trying to eat you. Before I go, I gotta bring this up. Do you guys remember the show Terra Nova, where humans are like sent back in time to start a settlement with the dinosaurs? I love that show. I, I'm so, I was so sad when it got canceled. But anyways, please subscribe and leave a comment below if you want me to do another video, you want me to do a certain mammal, let me know. Jehona out.